I never thought I would see the day. I never ever thought I would see the day that this would happen. Cheshire Police, man rejected for a job for being white and straight. Tribunal fines. <laughs> the job applicant's lawyer says positive action is an important tool to encourage diversity, but it should be applied lawfully. Uh, positive action, uh, also known as uh, diversity quotas, literally decide whether or not a person is able to get a job based on their race, sexuality, ethnicity, and so on. So it's, uh, you know, be it positive or negative, it's still discrimination. A man was denied his dream job in the police simply because he was a white, heterosexual male, his lawyer said after Cheshire Police was found guilty of discrimination. The police got found guilty of discrimination. <laughs> they're, they're the ones that are mostly, you know, enforcing this stuff as well. That, that's, a, that's a touch embarrassing. Uh, Matthew Furlong, who hoped to follow in the footsteps of his father, a serving detective inspector in the same police force, had applied to join in 2017. The 25-year-old passed the interview stage and was told it was refreshing to meet someone as well prepared as yourself and that he could not have done any more. Essentially, that's, that's him getting told he's a shoe in It's pretty much almost guaranteed the job at that point. Uh, however, the applicant who studied particle physics and cosmology at Lancaster University was later told he lost out to other candidates, prompting his father to file a complaint. Fair enough. Mr Furlong has now won an employment tribunal case which found Cheshire Police had discriminated against the applicant on the grounds of sexual orientation, race and sex. Man, Cheshire Police are fucking racist, aren't they? I'm really, really happy that these racists were brought to justice. <laughs> I'm really happy that the police, uh, <laughs> the the police were roasted in their own roaring bull. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what happened here. Uh, the tribunal ruled the force had used positive action. <laughs> it's an oxymoron. Uh, where steps are taken to recruit specific groups in a discriminatory in, in a discriminatory way. Because yes. It's discrimination if you are deciding whether or not a person does or does not get a job based on their sex, race, you know, ethnicity or any of that shit, then that is discrimination. That literally is discrimination. This is the first reported case of its kind in the UK where positive action has been used in a discriminatory way. First reported, I would say. Definitely not the first time. Definitely, absolutely not the first time. But I'll accept that it's the first reported. Hopefully it's the first of many. Uh, Matthew's courage in speaking out will hopefully ensure it's the last. No, no, it won't be. No. This has probably happened hundreds, if not thousands of times where basically you've been completely overqualified for a job and you get denied it because you're the wrong colour. Reminds me of a certain period in history. Can't remember it though, I'm trying to put my finger on it. Uh, had he not been such an exceptional candidate, he may not have suspected anything was wrong and this lawful and unacceptable selection process may have been allowed to continue. That's the thing is, see if anybody here has been denied a job, it could possibly have been for this. And you would have no idea because the discussion about it, about it takes place behind closed doors. You have absolutely no idea. They don't need to tell you anything. See, to be honest, see, see if his dad wasn't already working in the police, he would have been fucked. He would have, been, he would have no idea. He would have had no idea why he got rejected. And that's the thing is, if he was one of the best, one of the best, like, white candidates, because they were saying, you know, he was so well prepared and so on, he must have been one of the best white candidates, so... Uh, Either there was a lot of other white candidates a hell of a lot better than him or they didn't hire any white people. <laughs> it's like, whiteies need not apply. Uh, she said positive action was an important tool to encourage diversity in the workplace. You can go and fuck yourself. Jobs should be given out based on the skills of a person, not their race. Uh, and it said it should be applied lawfully. It shouldn't be fucking applied at all. Uh, to ensure the highest calibre of candidates are... Let, let, hold it, let, let, me, let me read that again. She said positive action was an important tool to encourage diversity in the workplace 
and said it should be applied lawfully. So basically, what that means is people are given jobs based on their race, sexual orientation, ethnicity, so on. To ensure the highest calibre of candidates are recruited, regardless of race, gender or sexual orientation. But that that's literally not what positive action is. Or with positive action, you are picking ca- candidates based on their race, gender and sexual orientation. That That's literally what positive action is. You are taking parts of their identity as a factor in whether or not they get the job. Nothing to do with their skills, merits, experience or what they have in here. You're literally basing whether or not they get their job on physical appearance and background. That... Okay, this bitch is a retard. She, she has no idea what the fuck she's talking about. The tribunal in Liverpool held four days of evidence before reaching its conclusion. It ruled that positive action should only be applied to distinguish between candidates who are equally qualified for a role. Nah. Flip a fucking coin. Because that's the thing is, you know, if someone if someone is a uh, black or Muslim, and we are both equally, equally, you know, skilled and trained for this job, you know, we match each other in every aspect, I'm not going to get the job based on the colour of my skin. I keep hearing about this white privilege. <laughs> uh, the tribunal ruled the force's claim it saw 127 candidates who were equally suitable for the police constable role was a fallacy. Yeah, that's fucking nonsense. 127 people were all equal. All equal. There was no negative traits or positive traits that differed between them or anything like that. They were, they were all equal. Shite. Yeah, nonsense. Uh, saying an artificially low threshold from giving candidates either a pass or a fail rather than a score was not a proportionate way to boost diversity. Uh, Cheshire Police was among several forces criticised in 2015 for having no black officers but it has taken steps to improve opportunities for those from BAME. BAME. Black, Asian, minority, ethnic backgrounds, those who have disabilities, and those of underrepresented sexual orientations and genders. Just hire the people that are good enough for the job. I really don't give a fuck if the police are black or disabled or Muslim or anything like that. See if they do the job and they do it well. That's all we fucking care about. We don't want someone who's underqualified or doesn't know what they're doing, you know, being in the role of our protectors. We would very much like capable people that actually know what they're doing to be in that role. We don't give a shit. Like, (laughs) I don't give a fuck what the sexuality or race of the police are. See if they stop me from getting the shit kicked out of me. That's fine. That's that's the trade-off. They can... They can be whatever the fuck they want. See, as long as they stop people from, you know, breaking into my house or damaging me or damaging my property, then that's fine. That's the trade-off. I don't give a fuck what colour the police are. Just just make sure nobody fucks up my stuff. Fuck me, man. Uh, the Force's work has been recognised with a number of national awards and even hosted the National Black Police Association Conference in 2017. Race-specific events. There's absolutely absolutely uh, no worry about segregation there. Uh, Mr Furlong's case has been adjourned until a remedy hearing later this year to determine how much compensation will be awarded. Uh, a Cheshire Police spokesman said, We've been notified of the outcome of the tribunal and will review the findings over the coming days. Well, well isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? But it's a case of... They shouldn't be doing this at all. Like, if you're giving anybody pros or cons based on their identity, that literally in itself is discrimination. Be it positive or negative, you should not be discriminating. It's bad. Like, it's this thing is, oh, I I see people as equal. We are all equal. But we're not going to give everyone equal treatment. (laughs) It's fucking... Diversity quotas are completely fucking counterproductive to what these far lefties actually want. I mean, there wasn't enough black police officers. Well, the door was open. A black person can go and submit their application. They can do that. You know, we pretty much do have equality of opportunity. You know, were black people not applying to the police? Well, then maybe there was a specific reason for that. You know? I don't believe that every single person in the police force is racist. You know, we're, we're not America. 
joke, joke. But uh, but yeah, like <laughs> this is not something that should be done. It literally is discrimination. Like even if you are doing it in a positive manner, it's still discrimination. And you know, I've uh, I've I've been brought up to believe that discrimination is wrong, but uh, apparently we have it being done here by our own police. <laughs>